welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Uh, good evening, YouTube. I'm with you this evening to show you the results of uh, this little experiment here. As you can see, I, I clamped it best I could. But anyway, I do believe I do believe it's uh, drilled out enough now. The ring has felt fallen off along with the clip that was on there. I haven't uh, haven't gotten it apart yet, but I plan on doing that next. So let me shut you down here and I'll unhook everything and see what happens. I'm back with you again. I think from best I can see of this. These tabs need to be perfectly straight and clean and they will slide out and I think I can do that without unhooking the wires, the fine wires from uh, from those but it's going to require some definite cleaning, especially this side here. Uh, those won't never slide out that way. But unless I do that I'm going to have to unsolder those because as soon as you pull on that at all, it, it puts tension on those wires. So, I guess the next step will be uh, cleaning up all those terminals and getting all the excess solder and wire off. And, uh, again, I will go from there, I suppose. So, I uh, guess I'll try doing that and seeing what happens. I plan to uh, put a mark on here. So I'll know which way this goes back together. I, I, I'm trying to keep everything uh, going as, as exactly as it came apart. Uh, I think that's the best plan. So I will do that, and like I say, I will get back to you once I have some more progress to report. Okie dokie, I'm back for the, hopefully the last time. As you can see, it is apart now. Uh, there are the mica sheets. There's a little evidence of uh, the blackness there. You can probably see on the edges. I don't think this one's really bad, but like I said, it's not going to get any better. So, you know, I hope I've taken enough pictures to get this back together. It's just uh, <laughs> uh, hanging on by a thread. Is that the saying? Yes, it is. I have one that's loose. And I don't know if I know where, I think it went to the same place the other one went. Let's get some light on it. So, anywho, that's the uh, extended. I do have it marked where it goes back the same way. Um, it should be fairly easy. I, I left those two in, and they are still connected, I think. Maybe that's the other one that goes on the other one. I come to think of it, it doesn't look like there's anything attached to that one, so I guess that's what we'll we'll say anyway. I think these are fairly well see that's a that's a copper wire there. There's a difference between the green and the copper color, so I guess I'll just have to sort it out with the uh, schematic or whatever. I'm not sure exactly what to do about this. Um it's not going to come out of there because there's a slug in there, but um, I'm not sure that's a good thing to leave in there. I don't think it's going to come out to... And you know, this, this part here doesn't seem to want to come off of that. So, I, I'm not really sure this is meant to uh, come apart at all. Uh, I'm sure, you know, like like some of the older ones, they're, they're usually rugged enough where you can take them apart and put them back together. This one, I don't think, uh, I'm not sure it's going to work that way, so... I may be looking for a parts radio and uh, trying to, uh, you know, go that round. If nothing else, maybe find some generic uh, 455 IF cans and go that route. Um, I'm sure there's some differences in circuits, but, you know, uh, could be could work out, I think. So Anyway, I just wanted to uh, show you that I did get it apart. <laughs> That's... Uh, that's probably the easiest part, so uh, I'll bring you back again when I uh, get the parts in and, and uh, figure out how to get it all back together. So, 
Thanks for watching.